Here is an example of how to run Docker in production for a website. Um, of course, it is a simple example, but the advantage of that is that it is a little bit easier to understand. It is running in production, by the way, and I will explain the background and the history of why we came to do this and how we um, how this helps us make the website more secure. I'm focusing on the architecture and the security of this uh, website. So what is the problem that we're trying to solve? Well, we had a website, a static website, that was manually set up and configured. Hosting was on Ubuntu 12.04, and you know, there's a limit to that. The uh, author of the website, the editor of the website, uh, actually my father, wants to use uh, FTP or SFTP. Uh, this website was started in 1999, and he is used to running this with a VI and FTP. A bit simple, but you know uh, he's happy, so why bother? We really want security, and part of security is make sure that the website is up to date, or that the website's software is up to date. That's the whole point. And lately, we've become we've we've come to understand that the operating system really needs an update. Twelve oh four long time support is really so yesterday. I mean, it's two thousand sixteen right now, and that goes to show that even long term support only goes so far. Now, what we could have done is go into the virtual machine and do a operating system upgrade. But, you know, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, we're not expecting this to, to really work uh, straight off the bat. And that brings us to the next point, which is that the disaster recovery process, so what happens is the VM sort of goes south in a way that's unrecoverable or the provider or whatever. We didn't have much of a process there. Um, the backups existed basically on the editor's laptop. Mind you, this is a static website, no big deal. Uh, but there was no simple way of, of recovering or reinstalling this website. Uh, we've done this before. The website was started in 1999, as I said, with uh, VI and FTP, and we've been rehosting it a couple of times since then. And each time it was a pain in the back it was it took hours it, it was a lot of effort I, I really want this to be simpler so what's the objective uh, of this project first of all to run an apache website with static content that is managed by ftp now okay i'll, I'll get back to that uh, the main important thing is to take advantage of the new container technology. We want to push configuration of this website into individual containers as much as possible to enable quick and independent update of all these essential components. And as you will see, in, as you dive into the example, we have a significant number. Well, we have five components, really. Backup, restore, logging, um, update, website. Basically, that's it. So the objective is to get something like one click deploy. Whenever there's, there, there needs to be a new deployment of this, this, this website's software, we really want it to be as simple as possible. No manual run books or scripts to, to, to do. Basically just push the button and it'll work. Of course, that is a uh, dream, but we can try and get as close to that as possible. Now, just a caveat. Um, in reality, if you want to have a static website, you're you're better off, I think, with just hosting it on Amazon uh, Web Services S3 or CloudFront or something similar. Uh, it's a lot easier, it's a lot simpler, it's a lot cheaper. However, that isn't really compatible with the way that my dad was uh, managing this website, you know, VI and FTP. But you know. And, and this makes for a nicer example. Let's put it like that. If you're impatient, go straight to GitHub. On my GitHub account, you'll see the example. PVE is my GitHub account. And the name of the project or the repository is uh, five containers and a website, abbreviated as 5CAAWS. If you want more details, stay tuned for my online course, um, which is coming up. That explains all of the details so you can run something similar yourself or at least be inspired for your own secure Docker implementations. Okay, see you on the other side.